You know, I was recently at a old growth forest blockade and a group of people have started a blockade to protect the last remaining old growth forest valley on Vancouver Island. And it's a very, uh, I'd say, important thing. And I would ask people if they would go on camera and tell me why they thought the old growth forest didn't want to be you know, it wasn't a good idea to cut it down. How did you feel? What did you think? And I found even up there, let's say less than 50% of the people I asked didn't want to go on camera. They didn't want to speak their truth. They didn't want to be heard. They didn't want to be seen. Now, if people are willing to go into the middle of nowhere and sit in the middle of nowhere, blocking our road from loggers, from cutting down old growth trees they're kind of at the highest end of the spectrum of people who are sort of like willing to do something about something and yet even there they didn't want to go on camera and I just found that so incomprehensible like if you care for the trees that much why don't you speak about it and then I asked other people that I knew, could you make a two minute video stating the same thing? Why do you think the old growth tree shouldn't be cut down? And I think I asked a few of close people a number of times and they still haven't done it. And again, I, I can't comprehend that. Shouldn't we be able just to like this, go on to a, your phone and make a little statement about how you feel about something, what you think about something. And yet I think it's at the very heart of one of the greatest problems our species has in terms of being so long in a school system that shut you down, being in family systems that shut you down, being in business systems that shut you down, being in social systems that shut you down to the point where so many people are not willing or able to express their truth in a group or in a video to the people that know us. And it's a fear. And to get through that fear, at some point you have to learn to speak your truth. You have to learn just to get on the camera and state what you think and feel. And I think, again, for, for many of us, there's a fear of, well, how are people going to see us or what are they going to say and who's going to attack me and what's going to happen. And I would say to anybody who's on the spiritual path that a big part of it is a deep sense of self-acceptance that we truly have to be able to watch ourselves and see ourselves and see our foibles and see the things on the chin and see the hair coming out of your head and see the nasal hair and see all of the the things perhaps that you don't see don't want to see but the world sees and sees it all the time but all of a sudden you have to see it and it can be quite sobering but at some point it becomes liberating when you finally accept who you are and how you look and how you sound and then you're able to speak then you're able to share in a much different way and so I'd say to the people out there all of you why not make a two minute video stating how you feel or think about the old growth forest being cut down I mean it's the least you can do isn't it I mean, I made one, it was 12 minutes. I couldn't shut up about it. And I sent it out to my network, tagged 20 people, and I doubt two or three of them even watched it. And it's a bit disheartening. 
but at some point you just got to do it in spite of the results and keep doing it. <laughs>